Oh boy, this will be a really good react. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Ring, or as I like to call it, Boomer Band, is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by oh. Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the express purpose of inflicting pain upon the Gaijin. In this adventure, you play as the famous video games protagonist Elden John as he undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This game is uh, of little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, many challenges await the player, and most of it is the work oh, of Satan, man. as is every game made by the Jack. This is part one of three. He must get to Melania like last, man. Japanese. Spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than Africa, we will find many secrets, uncover many attractions, and slay the entire cast of the Bible. Hell I've always liked that book. Man. My favorite part was the genocide. So we boot up the game and uh Oh, uh, silly me. I forgot to unplug the keyboard so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my <laughs> character. Our journey begins inside of the Microsoft PowerPoint, the quality of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Of course, this is a FromSoft game, so Spider-Man is here to send us the fuck back to our tutorial, which- I thought, chat, when I, the first time I did this, I, I went through the tutorial or whatever it's called, like, you know, Tutorial Island. Bro, I chat trolled the fuck out of me and saying I should have fucking beat the fucking spider boss. Is a whole, a whole lot of fun. You know, just making friends, influencing people, and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life. And with that problem sorted, it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. <gasps> Welcome everyone to Limgrave, land of Nah man, Limgrave's amazing. Trees, <laughs> laborious bears upon the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're lost, how about you start by finding some bitches? Stupid what? weirdo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your Hey, I took a shower this morning. We had ass cargo shorts your mama gave you. Look, what I'm trying to say is, you're fit is mid, and you get zero bitches. Fuck out of my sight before oh, I don't shit. look at those stank-ass vans again. As per the words of our friendly associate, we proceed towards the castle in search of some bitches. In Dark Souls, we sought after the Dark Soul, and in Bloodborne, we tried to escape Britain. But for Elden Ring, our objective is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic you cannot level up until you get a girl boss. So with nothing else to do, I guess we'll have to fight this tutorial boss. <laughs> I um, uh, he's a, he's a little like, uh, this to- To be fair, I accidentally skipped this boss because I didn't know that he was a boss. I literally ran past him. I didn't even lock onto him. I remember chat was so mad at me. ...on how to flee in fear and, uh, use geometry. Proceeding to the next batch of- <laughs> This tutorial is on how to flee in fear and, uh, use- <laughs> Sure. Geometry. Proceeding to the next Good batch of enemies, asshole. we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at which point they form a violence committee. Oh, bitches. Hmm. Try finger. But hold up, bitch. What the fuck? My name is Melatonin. And if I may inquire, sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual Ooh. style. So that I may make him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod on the planet. Every what? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great queen Mar <laughs> Marinara, who pissed off God so badly that he left the oh, fucking oh, universe. Oh. Now her power, the Amazon gift card, is shattered, and her athletic scions are holding a contest to see who can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them? No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces uh, of evil who have all claimed a shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one classroom. is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after countless weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve one final victory royale. 
Jake Paul, bastard of the Badlands, the ever wet skelly sleeper, the crazy car car consumer, oh God, and least of all, consumer. you tarnished warrior. Is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional pocket. I see. Cool. Oh, poggers. Welcome to the Round Table Hold, a place to rest, make purchases, Whoa. and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. Oh. Oh. To I'm in hell. Now, as for our comprehensible oh, friends, we could go. begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little busy right now. So Aw, oh, man. I just made myself sad. The ending for this guy was sad. So that only leaves one more person, Fia, the deathbed companion, unique among all women, including my- My, my chat trolled me again with this character. Mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what I wasn't aware of was that this one action permanently debuffed my health, and I forgot to turn it off. For the entire game, the effect looks- Erbo. Kind of get a chat move, though. He- he debuffed- like, he got debuffed the whole game. Kinda giga chat. like this. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction, so it's time to head it. back. Jesus Christ, to Stormvale Castle, where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people. Yeah! Our approach begins by moving through the gate. Our approach begins with a battle against the lag beast, but honestly after that, the level is pretty easy. Cannon. Alright, fi finally a cutscene. Foul tarnish. God damn it. Oh, In search sick. of the hose. Unfortunately, I hate women. That sounds like a you problem, Chief. Insane. I am also homophobic. Hey! And you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, <laughs> Max, or welcome to the first boss. Honestly, a really good, brutal first boss actually teaches you a lot about the game, man. Actually brutal. Here, Although I was playing a melee, oh my god. This tilts the fuck out of me. So Zaryu played through Elden Ring and I watched him play through it and he played a full-on wizard build and this boss was such a joke for me. And then I remember him being in the bus. He's like, oh, that wasn't so hard. And I'm like, I was a fucking melee. And you just pew, 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 pew. Mage players, man, I fucking, I was so mad. He just pew, pew. Yeah, all he's over a little him. bit odd, yeah. Margaret Thatcher is a very strong, very agile, and Samurai. very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He combines delayed attacks, crazy yeah, combos, and eventually attacks. the hammer of God, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately for us, young Sheldon Ring is a game. I was like level two or three when I went to go fight, uh, fight him by the way that also might have been a contributing factor to me sucking but uh yeah i was level three with all kinds of activities there. to prepare and unwind you know like killing the fucking dragon which for some reason is easier just not too much easier <laughs> For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and, uh, whatever that is. Greetings, traveler. I am the pitbull of the woods. Uh, Have you seen any uh, orphanages nearby? Why are you asking? Oh, it's Bay's husband, though. Give me that. No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the tastiest children. Oh, okay. Go there, traveler. His voice sounded familiar. And I will kill there was an the AI, infants of your choice. Lie. Okay, this might seem bad, but I know a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am blind. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome Hello. to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So to keep no. things short, this forest is watched over. Again, I explored way too hard and I went there at like level six or seven. I was way too underlevered for most of the places that I explored. By the spirit man. of a gentle stag, and my immediate impulse is to kill it. This necessitates yeah. lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove, or more accurately, sprinting between them while enduring the trials of free acupuncture meets Markiplier jump scare. That is not a sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and a uh, Mr. Oh, Crabs. Yeah. So after that. lighting the fires at the expense of my life, we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave. And yeah. as it turns out, Bambi is back from the I one shot this one. Damn, they had a good learning boss 
I uh, like this fight. He shows me how bad I am at the video game and uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006. Overall, it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals. 10 out of PETA. You don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave to the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get it's the turtle, um, the ones with the with the bell ding dongs, they got bell peepees. That we've got a few and tasks have, to do. Just and they have goo goop on their uh, feet. Like among us, these include fighting the sapient tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of the game, and also uh, the uh, the bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. <laughs> yeah, these are honestly one of my favorite things in the game. Not gonna lie, it even contains the rarest of all loot a woman who tells us the tale of Castle Morn, a fortress that made the grievous oh God, mistake of woman. permitting Fur Fest 2022 in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes, my brother in Christ, they are misbegotten chimera, and you're going to die. So, as can be expected, they massacred oh everyone and started a county sized race war, and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Fortunately, just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented war crimes yet. I uh, like this level. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty short. Just like this video, my favorite detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Harambe's cage, and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, this fight is actually easy, mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. Enjoy this while you can, because we- Fuck, because we've got a few more people to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a fair oh, yeah. warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, as well as speaking to the sentient jar, which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts, so Oh yeah! Chad, tell me about him. After quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east to an industrious land known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? What the fuck is that? Oh no. Oh my god, my least favorite zone in the fucking game. Fuck this zone. Fuck this zone. Oh god. Life. Let's go back to the castle. This it's time I, I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margaret is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margaret, more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. Emphasis on the patience, but most- Yeah, yeah, his delayed attacks are fucking annoying. Importantly, this lie. fight requires experience. Experience you gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians to squeeze out the narrowest of victories. Just to watch out for the hammer. Really glad we could beat the first boss up nine minutes into the video. Welcome everyone to Stormvale Castle, realm of the- I- I- I can't stand this place. I can't stand Stormville Castle. First demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't get to him in 20 Those minutes, the lasagna is free. Right Stormvale is a complex. This guy, I hate this guy. Oh my god, I'm getting triggered It's a multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, we take the side route across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese chemical factory. So after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we ascend the political compass until I have authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds, and uh, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps on- yeah, these these guys are one of my least favorite enemies in fucking all of Elden Ring. Not gonna lie. All right, it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is get through the um. He's quite the uh, handyman. Knows how to work with his hands. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to uh, keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. God, this fight is actually unironically really good too. With the mechanics and everything, actually. Good. 
After all, it was a Monday. Really and I game. hate Mondays. Pizza delivery for uh, Garfield? It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand. You know what's making the pizzas? Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle against Gondrick the Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking Masquerade Evangelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi... 1987, and then sewed the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They call him William Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you, and it's quite ex Yeah, but like, the, the whole fight is kind of like a really nice dance. There are delayed attacks, but it's kind of funny. if Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means you yeah, have to pay attention to his arm carefully. Down. And that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm finding it uh, <laughs> pretty hard to keep track of him. He seems to morph around when I... <laughs> so we fight him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually reaching the, uh... The, uh... Second phase. Oh. The second phase! Let's go! Oh god. I guess he didn't need a hand. So to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Skyrim. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want! Welcome how does he... How does he do... How does he handle his trouser snake if he's got like a dragon hand? That's what I have to wonder. The phase two, bitch. This is the best game ever made. Ah, the round table hold, my favorite location. There's really nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It is I, the lore man. Okay, do you know where the bathroom is? My IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just talk to, uh... <laughs> What can we do? So start spouting some fucking stupid ass lore. Uh, this is worse. Let's uh come back to that eventually. Oh, uh, I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. Congratulations, we've made it past the first demigod out of six and a half. I'm sure his subjects will remember him fondly. Remember all those adventures we had together, all those places we've been. That was, uh, 10% of the map. I'll probably finish these videos in a nursing home. This is the rest of the game, and wow. I better call Gandalf for that shit, because we've got a ways to walk. Welcome, everyone, to Ligma of the Lakes, the largest swamp that Miyazaki was allowed to build. 30,000 men have already died. Yeah, it's not large enough for them. <laughs> Honestly, not that And on today's bad. episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents. Ranala of the Red Lobster, Queen of Caria, for at least the next 10 minutes, resides in the Ranala. magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. And to get there, we need to head across a biological minefield known in for- The dragon in the stupid lake is annoying to fight. ...as the crustacean nation. It is here that we face our greatest challenge, the fucking shrimp. I'm starting to think that PETA has a- has a point. So anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the octo -skety and get completely sidetracked until I end up in fucking Nipton. But, uh, we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Just know that you can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through the ruins of my marriage and killing the white people, we make it to the Hogwarts, only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. Oh, yeah. And next to it lies a map, which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This game God, I hate this dragon. has a lot of dragons in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. 
So now that we've broken into magical racism land, it's time to enact our revenge upon Chris Angel Mind Freak in one of the most pretty good-ish dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies such as the Spastic Child, this man 30 times in a row, and a I hate that fucking the wizard mobs too, but I still don't hate them as much as the night one. A homeless guy who helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario is a fa <laughs> Raging Lucario hey, is a fairly linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. That now, I'm no interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we drive past Ohio as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And the lecture hall. Singular. Wait, there is wait, only one wait. in the entire school. I guess they just do it on- What are we doing over here, man? Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog no! doing? This is a really good fight, too. It's kind of annoying, but still pretty good. The answer is stabbing me. This is one hecking speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive which destroyed this video. The last minute of footage was reconstructed from memory. But besides that, his moveset is varied and intense, requiring expert evasion or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in chocolate. <laughs> wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. So before we take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may no longer appear fatherless. Sick. Now on our search for a classroom that can't be raided, we head up the stairs to experience bowling in Boom. VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become- Hey, they patched that out when I was playing the game, man. Motherfucker, I did it like the normal sidetracked way. again as I am teleported like straight to the shit. turtle pope who wants to sell me things. His oh, existence yeah. isn't explained and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stare. Turtle Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. <laughs> I can't believe Rice I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. Oh god. I said less disturbing. <laughs> What is up guys and welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool man. Today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh. Oh boy! Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest 2002 twos. That's right, this is an American school after all. And in this battle, we're going to be no, teaching these- there's no guns! This is just sword play. These kids, the harsh re- This is, uh, this is Europe. ...realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say, and hopefully it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy. Like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating yeah, heart. This is accurate. Fight. In fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point Renala basically lets you go to town. The reason for yeah, this is that we are phase. fighting a demigod. This is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kinda feel like I'm doing him a favor. Good evening, Twitter. This is your Second boy, phase. That pussy What the fuck? Five, and about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick <laughs> so goddamn uh. that I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg has been totally numb. And my dick has I guess there's a phase two. It's a cool fight. Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy. Four Dark Souls, which means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susk Gwendolyn if he slash them were a good boss, using a vast array of magic, mm. other bosses, and the power of Goku to socially distance your skull from your neck. But even so Yeah, it's a lot of dodge rolling. It was easy if you just you know, ran and dodge rolled and dodged the animation. Still, it's very right. manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing yeah. might tell you something about how I did. 70% of this fight is waiting for my right? turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, God and subscribe it. so we can take this video to the moon. 
So after sufficient damage is dealt, we find out that her second phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including of course this bastard again and the actual straight up pack of wolves. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there goes the camera. I fucking hate this place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What I knowledge said. do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do I go next? Kaled. Red Lobster. What? <laughs> you must continue your adventure in uh, Kaled. Uh, uh, Kaled. Is that a problem? No, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Kaled. Uh, Brazil. Hey guys, needs McTherapy here. Today we're- you know what? It's actually a really good analogy. Someone in my chat one day said Brazil is like if it's a high level PvP zone that's constantly flagging you. It is actually like Brazil. Yeah. We're gonna be playing in a Tim Burton land. <laughs> Welcome to Kaelin. It's basically made of German bedtime stories. Who can forget such a legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bachpfeife and Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinder Schredder. I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's. <laughs> That's Kinder Shredder. <laughs> Gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today's episode of Amnesia oh, no, The Dark Descent, we are invited to a annoying. festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent. All for amazing fight though. A chance to face Freaking off against the third demigod on my Club Redon. Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main Castle, where every year he throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstoppable. <laughs> Car. So we ride, vaguely and in some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking myself in the cum dungeon. The other kids laughed at me, they called me Jizzy Johnson, but now it is I who is laughing at them. You know, I've noticed you aren't reacting enough. It's probably a woman issue, though so I'll forgive you. Mods, take his feet, lock him up, tickle them. Doki, doki, oh cool, it's club. a it's oh. another dragon, and this one is a No nah. Oh you know what? Never mind. This this dragon is one of the most annoying. He's probably my top two, top three. Quite the special sure. encounter, because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything, otherwise he uh decouples his existence. Hey, what's up guys? Yeah. Max over here, and today we're gonna be gaming. You can't kind him out. That's the fucking annoying part, but then if if his breath touches you, then you freaking die. On the moon, because that's what this shit feels like. In fact, I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow, and I filled it with, you guessed it, an obscene dragons! quantity of dragons. Because truly, we have not fought enough of them. I don't, uh, want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the future episode box. So far, we've yeah, seen a lot of traumatizing fair. things. Enough to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest, but I've been saving the best for last, and by best, I mean the most evil game design ever conceptualized. The Swamp of Aeonia lies just within the center of Kaelid and contains yeah. enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. This region, and pretty much all of Kaelid, but mostly this fucking abomination, is infested with Scarlet Rot, which is like poison if it was- I don't, I don't remember those enemies being annoying, but again, everyone's like really subjective, like depending on what you build you play. Made of radium, and get this, it's spreading. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation because an NPC just invades you in the middle of the swamp. It's like I can hear oh the dulcet God, tones of the game director laughing at me for your crimes i, I am sending guy. you to the this was my first pvp like invader uh encounter oh my god i wanted to bash my fucking controller this place is filled I, with yeah, all kinds of really new and interesting ways to dive and my favorite lies at the center of the swamp where we can find commander o'neill and his bostonian ketamine mafia surprisingly enough this is the only thing here that can't kill me his moveset is so simple it's amish accessible you could build a barn around him in the time it takes for him to do damage maybe this boss would be better with a second phase one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until i'm gravel but you know that's just a theory a game theory thanks for watching also he up drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. Oh, yeah, you're a horse, yeah, right? I, I, yeah, I did the quest for this, right? I remember now. 
We're in uh, Redmain Castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaelin is the actual level. Do you even know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're a big fan of cats. I, sp I spent a lot of time farming here. Yeah. Touches life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two attendants in total, and uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I talked about? Uh... Welcome one and all cost to Child Slaughter Fest 2022. Uh... No. Shame. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit up. Mr. Kodjata Binks, missing your humble servant. Okay, never mind. So in a stroke of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via YouTube Rewind that Radon is not here. Technically. You see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. His consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Molania, who is the Blade of Mikola, by the way. But that is a story for later. Essentially, oh his God, mind was eaten. I cannot wait to see that part. ...by the Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are yeah. attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very oh Will smith -ridly. Let's, uh, go start the mercy killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim and today we're doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Starscourge True. Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and if they die then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially converted the game into an RTS. <laughs> Getting your ass blasted from behind when you're trying to summon someone? Gotta fight Ray Boss Radon in World of Employee Harassment. Now, you can fight him alone as a real gamer, but why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having sex by myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet and firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. If you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing wider than American elections and hit harder than a freight train on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Chiquale Onale. This is because, in addition Shit. to being built like a steel mill, Radon has the power to defy gravity, which constantly oh gets into the fights. I completely forgot he does that move, man. Gives you unlimited summons, power senses, when Krasis accused meteors for destroying planet, kills you and all your friends, doesn't it, Lever? <laughs> solar bodies. This man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radon is an absolute yeah, god among chads, crazy. and this fight's intensity lives up to that and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um, uh, jumps into the upper atmosphere. Christ, he is a thick one. He did it! Lanterns! Oh god, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure to negatively affect the trout population. No! Won't someone please think about the economy? Piss, 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 pi